The Blair Witch Project is not just about visuals. It's also about evoking a sense of reality. That's why the film will be the worst nightmare you've ever experienced. It's the kind of thing that will leave you breathless and grateful because it's finally over. These are the words that renowned writer Stephen King bestowed upon The Blair Witch Project. So what did the film do to warrant such praise from Mr. King? Let's delve into the mysteries surrounding The Blair Witch Project in this episode of Horrible. The Blair Witch Project is an independent horror film directed by Daniel Merrick and Eduardo Sanchez. It follows a group of young filmmakers as they explore a forest in the city of Burkittsville, formerly known as Blair, in the state of Maryland, United States. According to local lore, this forest has a dark history filled with many terrible events. The first incident involved the execution of a woman named Kelly Catwood in Blair who was suspected of practicing black magic. Then there is the story of Rustin Parr, a man who kidnapped seven children from the area and murdered them in his house deep in the forest. Finally, there is the chilling tale of a cemetery where the remaining survivors were brutally killed. These haunting legends serve as the inspiration for Heather Donahue, a young film student, to make a documentary about the forest. With the help of her friends Joshua Leonard and Michael Williams, she sets out to uncover the truth about the Blair Forest. However, her unrelenting determination not only puts herself in danger, but also endangers her two companions. As a result, all three of them became the latest victims of the forestry. There were no bloodstains, nor any appearance of a cold-blooded murderer in the Blair Witch Project. However, the film's special weapon was its dreadful honesty. Despite the audience being captivated by the legend of the witch, what they saw on screen did not resemble the evil force they were expecting. This leaves viewers questioning whether the events that unfolded for the film crew were truly the work of the witch, or if their descent into exhaustion and hunger gradually drove them mad. Ultimately, the audience is left without a definitive answer. The Blair Witch Project effectively taps into the audience's creativity and curiosity, leaving them with an exhilarating sense of awe. The concept for the Blair Witch Project was conceived by directors Daniel Merrick and Eduardo Sanchez in 1993, while they were both students at Central Florida University. The two young men were inspired by movies that explored mysterious phenomena and found them to be more frightening than traditional horror films. They collaborated on developing the idea for the Blair Witch Project, ultimately writing a 35-page script for the film. However, they made a promise that the dialogue would be entirely improvised by the actors. In 1998, the directors completed an eight-minute short version of the film, which was later aired on split screen. This short version provided enough funding for the directors to create the Blair Witch Project. Despite having a modest budget of only $60,000, the filmmakers of the Blair Witch Project had to be extremely cautious with their spending. They had to be resourceful and strategic in order to make the most of their limited funds. Thanks to their creativity, the production team came up with a unique and effective marketing strategy by utilizing the internet's reach and accessibility. At the time of the film's release in 1999, the internet was still a relatively unfamiliar platform for most users. This meant that news and rumors could spread quickly and without proper verification. The team took advantage of this and used it to their advantage in promoting the Blair Witch Project. To become a part of the film's campaign, users were encouraged to click on a link, one and two, to advertise the film. Their plan is to spread rumors about the mysterious disappearance of the film crew, which included three members, after they explored the forest in the city of Burkittsville. Despite the police's organized search of the entire forest, the victims could not be found. All that was discovered was the film crew's car, tent, personal belongings, and the footage they had recorded during their expedition. Some of these videos were uploaded to a website specifically created for the film's advertising event. Interestingly, this website is still active to this day and contains valuable information about the disappearance, such as interviews with police officers and those involved, as well as photos of the actors when they were young. Due to this information being available on the website, many people were convinced that the disappearance of the film crew was real. Not only did the production team of the Blair Witch Project use the internet to spread rumors, they also succeeded in real-life marketing. They printed out numerous articles announcing missing individuals and strategically placed them in various locations. In each announcement, the film production attempted to convince the audience that the characters in the film were genuinely missing. Even a year after the film's official release, IMDb continued to advertise on their website that the actors in the movie were still missing and may have even passed away. Through a combination of web advertising and articles, the film crew has exceeded expectations with their success. By August 1999, the website they created had reached over 160 million downloads. The town of Burkittsville also saw a surge of curious visitors, with thousands coming to explore. Even local young adults were intrigued by the city's history. The Blair Witch Project accomplished the unimaginable, grossing over $248.6 million from a mere $500,000 investment. It ranked 10th on the list of most popular films in the U.S. in 1999 
and became one of the most successful independent films in history. When making a documentary film, there is likely no better approach than using found footage. We have a separate video discussing how to create this type of film, which you can find in the description below. Now to clarify the concept of found footage, this technique allows the audience to experience the story through the eyes of the characters, as captured by the camera. This not only helps viewers understand the plot, but also allows them to empathize with the characters' emotions. In the case of the Blair Witch Project, the use of found footage serves a larger purpose. Because this is an old documentary, what the producers of the Blair Witch Project need most is for the audience to believe in the story told in the film. With many cliches that have been used before, it would be unconvincing if the film was told from a third-person perspective, like the other three horror films of the same time. Not only does the found footage method increase the believability of the story, but it also adds to the terror of many scenes that may not be frightening on their own. This is because the viewer is unable to know what is truly happening to the characters, and everything they see in the film is not enough to answer their questions. When the audience believes in the story, their imagination will take over and add to the fear factor. However, for a film to be successful, simply having good filming techniques is not enough. We must also give credit to the actors of the Blair Witch Project for their efforts throughout the making of the film. All three main actors were professional, but not well known at the time. They were chosen for their ability to adapt to tricky situations and their proficiency in using a handheld camera. The lack of experience in such a unique filming style may have caused doubts for some, but the actors proved their talent and dedication throughout the entire process. The emotions portrayed in the film are incredibly realistic. For instance, in the scene where the three characters argue because Michael threw a skateboard into the water, the actors perfectly capture the anger, pain, and despair of the crew. However, this success did not come without sacrifice. Throughout the filming process, the actors had little interaction with other members of the production team. Communication was limited to notes, which instructed them where to go and what to do next. Not only did the three actresses have to stay in the woods at night, but they were also not allowed to return to the hotel unless it was absolutely necessary. Furthermore, the entire crew had to endure the constant commotion of the production team throughout the night, with footsteps and the sound of stones hitting each other around their tents, constantly interrupting their sleep. On top of that, the actresses were restricted from eating enough during filming to truly capture the tension of their characters. We cannot overlook the tremendous efforts of the production team. To create a successful film, they had to devote a significant amount of time to crafting the storyline and implementing marketing strategies to make The Legend of Blair as realistic as possible. The two directors, Daniel Merrick and Eduardo Sanchez, were also meticulous about every detail. In order to truly capture the audience's attention, they even went to a dental clinic to purchase real teeth for the character of Josh, who disappears in the film. The production team also had to make numerous changes in order to achieve a cohesive final product. The original version of the film did not mention the name Rustin Parr or his horrific acts of torturing children. This created concern among distributors that viewers would not fully understand the scene where Michael stands in the corner. As a result, the production team had to film additional scenes to provide clarification. Furthermore, at the distributor's request and in order to ensure the continuity of the story, the film crew was asked to shoot even more scenes. Despite several disputes, the original ending was ultimately chosen to maintain the spirit of the film. The success of the Blair Witch Project and the strong belief of a portion of the audience in the story portrayed in the film has turned the legend of the Blair Witch into a real mystery that many people are eager to uncover. Numerous individuals have invested their time and money to visit Burkittsville, Maryland in hopes of exploring the forest and documenting their experiences. In addition to the footage captured on handheld cameras, the legend of the Blair Witch has also been featured in several books. The film not only serves as a symbol of popular culture, but it has also served as a source of inspiration for other directors. It has sparked the aspirations of those who aim to develop a story for a film or create a game based on the legend of the Blair Witch, as well as young talents who dream of showcasing their skills but lack the financial means to do so. With the genre of found footage gaining more recognition, aspiring filmmakers now have more opportunities to pursue their film dreams. All it takes is a few cameras, creativity, and unwavering dedication, and anyone can become a part of the history of film. The Blair Witch Project may not have been the first film to use found footage, but it is undoubtedly one of the most influential films of all time. The most obvious evidence of its influence is the emergence of other horror films shot in a similar style, such as Paranormal Activity and Wreck. This is the story of the success of The Blair Witch Project, a work that can inspire anyone. However, behind it lies a tale filled with inspiration and the message that nothing is impossible. So if you ever feel helpless or afraid of a challenge, remember this story and have faith in the power and creativity of people. Keep watching the movie to hear more similar stories. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again. I am looking at you, kid. Look at me. I love you more than I have ever loved anyone. <laughs>